All right guys, what is going on? We have three new t-shirts right here. If you guys haven't been following me on Instagram, I dropped these three t-shirts about a few weeks ago. Quickly wanted to let you guys know that we still have some on the website available, ready to ship. I honestly only have a few of the BRZ ones left. As you can tell, this is literally the BRZ right here. Brought back the high prices, low cars t-shirt with the FRS on it. A lot of you guys wanted to restock, so we had to bring that one back. And also, we got a brand new one with the STI. This is the exact color scheme, it's so sick. We got the blue wheels, yellow for the calipers. And yeah guys, all three of these are live on the website right now, ready to ship. The link for these shirts will be down in the description below. I wanted to let you guys know before we start today's video, just in case you guys missed it a few weeks ago. And yeah, for all you guys who placed an order already, I appreciate it so freaking much. Honestly, it means the world, and I wouldn't be able to do it without you guys. All right, I gotta go. I'm about to be late for my alignment. <laughs> Some STI parts over from Supi Speed. Today is already gonna be a good day. What's up guys, thank you guys for watching another video on the channel. Guys, we finally have another install for the STI. It feels like it's been ages. I have not put something on this car or focused on this car in so freaking long. Lately, it's been the 2022 BRZ. If you guys haven't been up to date on the videos, Obviously this thing looks completely different than how it looked before. Obviously we got the Street Hunter wide body kit, we got the wheels, we got the Workmeister wheels from the FRS. And yeah, this thing is completely transformed versus what it looked like before. And yeah guys, this has been the main focus on the channel for I want to say a month or two now. Now that this is taken care of and it's all over with, we can finally focus on the STI. Guys, I've had so much parts in the garage just waiting to throw on this car. And I think we're going to start with these two, these two go hand in hand. Um, if you guys can tell from the boxes, this is a fourth brake light for the STI, which goes right there, as well as some new tail lights. Guys, look, it's literally dusty. Like, it's been sitting for so long. But yeah, stock tail lights, or replacing the stock tail lights, does such a big difference. Um, I feel like with this color scheme, it doesn't really go, the stock tails don't really flow with anything. So far on the STI, we have some raised gram lights. Eternal blue pearl, now it kind of looks black because the car is absolutely filthy. But yeah, the wheels are blue, we got the neon stickers to match the brakes, and um, I don't know, just the red does not really go with anything, really. Tail lights were honestly a tough choice, and um, yeah, I pretty much went with these ones right here, so we'll see. So hopefully it looks good. Uh, I think it's kind of like the only color scheme I feel like would kind of flow with what's going on with the car right now. Also, I'm sorry if I sound a little bit nasally. I've been sick for the past like five days, so if I sound a little bit different, I apologize. Yeah, let's go and start with the fourth brake light. I think there's a harness that plugs into the tail lights. I think we should do this first. And yeah, let's just get started, guys. I am, I'm just dying to see something new on this car. <laughs> So yeah, I went the clear lens with the blue LED. No, I'm just kidding, this is actually a film. So yeah, clear lens with the white LED. Now, if you guys can notice, this is actually the same one that we had on the red WRX that we had before. I don't know, classic look. I love this look so much. It stands out a little bit different than the basic red, so we had to do it again. Comes with everything you need, obviously. Uh, I believe this is a harness, so this actually wires down, or wires up to the taillights on the car, so there's a little harness for that. Good old zip ties, can never go wrong with those. This is a bracket that goes around the light itself, so it mounts to the bumper. I'm gonna show you guys how to do this. It's pretty simple, it has everything you need harness zip ties bolts let's just get right to it just save the time of washing hands just wear some gloves <laughs> all right first thing we're gonna do is remove the stock I was gonna say fourth brake light, but there's nothing here. It's just a plastic cover. Take these off. Oof. There she goes. Oh gosh. All right, now, as you can tell, it's much more flexible, so we can get behind, pop this thing out. Like that, like two or four little pop clips. This is where our little bracket comes in handy now. Cut this out. All right, so this thing right here goes into the slot first. Thank you. 
All right, guys, we're on day two of the install. Yesterday, we kind of ran out of daylight. I, honestly, it sucks so much. It gets dark at like 4.30 now. I absolutely hate the daylight saving stuff, how it gets dark so freaking early, but we're gonna work with it. Day two, we're gonna finish off the taillights. Uh, yesterday, as you guys saw, I think I left off on wiring the fourth brake light. It's super simple. Right here, there's actually a grommet. Uh, I believe this is for the license plate lights. But yeah, there's a little wire, goes through a rubber grommet. I pretty much just cut a little slit with the razor, fed it through there uh, so it goes down behind the bumper and plugs in right to the fourth brake light. Right here is a harness where that harness plugs into this harness and then this plugs into where the taillights go. So. Next up is the taillights, it all just kind of connects together. Honestly, as simple as it gets, nothing too crazy, and um, let's just get right into it. Clean it up a little bit before we put the new ones in. Honestly, this is something I wouldn't really do, but I know a lot of you guys that watch comment on the small things just like this. I'm doing it for you guys. <laughs> All right, nice and clean. Ready for the new ones. So the harness for the fourth brake light is pretty simple. So we're gonna plug in this to the tail light, like this. Fourth brake light is gonna plug into the connection on the harness. Then the new harness that's already plugged in is gonna plug into the car, like this. As you guys saw on the box, I got these from Subi Speed. I'll have the link down in the description. Also, excuse the loud banging and stuff they're actually working on the floors upstairs so sorry if it sounds like bad tails are from subi speed they've been a huge sponsor on the channel as well as the builds that we've had on the channel if you guys like these taillights i'll have the exact link down in the description below as well as the discount code i have a discount code brgssti it'll save you guys 10 percent off majority of the stuff that they have on their website they sell everything performance parts exterior parts wheels you name it but yeah i got you guys with that discount code to save you guys a little bit of money before we move any further, a little comparison of the two. So we got the stock, obviously, and then the smoked taillight. See, I don't know, it was rough. I didn't know what color scheme to go as far as taillights for this car. I just felt like the red, like I said, was just out of place with the wheels. The smoked, I feel like it flows way better with the wheels and stuff versus the stock ones. Yeah, just, I don't know, the red with the wheels is just not it, in my opinion. We are wrapping in the car sometime in December, so pretty, pretty soon. But, um, I honestly cannot stand the silver. I hate the silver. Silver is not my vibe. So yeah, we're actually wrapping the car sometime in December. I kind of kept the wrap color in consideration once I chose these tails. So yeah, if you're not feeling it yet, uh, just stay tuned for the wrap. I feel like it's gonna be so sick and a lot more is gonna flow once we change the color of this car Yeah, silver was just not my first choice, but we got a good deal on the car Not really because STIs are so freaking expensive now But versus what they're usually going for it was a pretty good deal couldn't pass up on the offer So just had to settle for the silver. But yeah, let's finish up the STI. Let's take off that ugly stock tail right there and uh, Finish off the look in the rear All right, so as you guys can tell, these obviously are sequential. And on the back of the light, there's actually a switch. Non-sequential, with the flip of a switch just like that. I can see the freaking reverse light flashing when I put it in reverse. So I can tell that thing is super bright. We got one more thing for the rear end. Something a little small, but uh, this is a little carbon piece to put behind the license plate. Now it's just a small little detail to add to the trunk. Essentially, should go 
somewhere in this area. Obviously under the license plate, but should look something like that. Actually definitely complements the taillights, which is pretty sick. Super simple, just some 3M tape on the back. Put the plate over and uh, that's probably the easiest install ever. <laughs> Bolts can't reach the car on the trunk for the license plate. I got these rubber weld nuts from the wide body kit on the FRS. And look at this, they fit literally perfect. I think it was made for this. <laughs> and uh, as you tighten them, they expand. So I'll go and show you guys right now. I'll put this on, I'll put the plate on. Get our hardware back, we'll expand, flip it over. As you can tell, they're like expanded, so it's pretty freaking cool if you ask me. That's what people do for like wide body hardware and stuff. But yeah, good to go. Just some little details to spice it up the rear end. Oh wow, I actually really like that. It flows very well with the tails. Now, excuse all the junk in the garage, like we're, like we're getting some stuff done upstairs. It's so freaking messy, but I actually really like that, not gonna lie. What do you guys think? Let me know down below. Do you guys, are you guys feeling the rear end? Too much kind of blacked out, you know, smoked? Or do you guys dig it? I think it looks pretty sick, pretty aggressive. Probably gotta do something with these emblems. I was pretty skeptical on this mod, honestly, but it was just a nice detail I wanted to try out, but I like it. I like it a lot. It actually looks really good. Surprisingly, like I, I was honestly sleeping on this mod right here, but um, it's cool. STI mods for the win. Super excited that we finally got to add a little bit of stuff on the car, even though these are like very small mods. Even though these mods were super small in the STI, super fun. Always fun modifying this thing and throwing some new stuff on. Like I said, let me know what you guys think down in the comments below of kind of like the new rear end for the car. the BRZ back in the garage looking all pretty <laughs> all aired out dude this thing is crazy obnoxiously loud too I don't drive it as much as I would like to but dude this thing is something else guys crazy still can't believe the BRZ looks like this every day I look at it <laughs> uh, a few days ago I actually picked up a PS5 now I've had a PS4 for a while now uh, but I stopped playing I stopped honestly stopped playing for a long time because uh, I was not interested in um, the Call of Duties that have been coming out. But if you guys have been gaming, you guys know the new Modern Warfare 2 came out. I'm a huge Call of Duty guy. Um, I was just, you know, like back in the day, in uh, middle school, high school, I would just grind out Call of Duty with my friends. And that was pretty much my life back then, honestly. Getting word that the new Modern Warfare 2 is coming out, I had to hop on this. And, um... Upgraded to the PS5 as well, finally. Kind of late to the game, but we finally got the PS5. I got something in my eye earlier at work, so no, I don't have pink eye. <laughs> my, my eye is just super irritated right now. My eye is super red. But anyways, we've been playing the new Call of Duty. I posted a little picture of my story on Instagram uh, a few days ago. And a lot of you guys were like, yo, you play Mario for 2? Like, get any gaming content coming out? And um, I mentioned it before, but I definitely want to do, you know, like a little gaming channel. Uh, Call of Duty is so huge in my life. So I'm really excited to kind of like get back into it. It's kind of hard to play because honestly, like I barely have time to play. But when I do, I usually hop on with a few friends, We're like Jason and Danny. We always just hop on and play. We're going to play some uh, PS5 right now. A little bit caught up on uploads, so figured we got some time. Let's go ahead and hook up the PS5. Quick little TDM. 28 and 8. Kind of getting used to this game. Honestly, kind of took me a while to get used to this game because I haven't played Call of Duty forever. But um, so far, so good. Still got campers in this game. So 
Honestly, this game is completely different on PS5 versus PS4. I was playing on the PS4 before I got the PS5, obviously. Completely different game. I'm doing way better. I think it's probably the connection or something, but dude, this game is completely different on PS5. Alright, I just got done playing for about a few hours, and um, I'm pissed. This game makes me so mad, but I think I'm just tired. I think I just gotta take a break. Yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. It's a little install, finally, something on the STI. More STI videos coming soon, I promise. Um, we got a lot to focus on on this car. Now that the BRZ is kind of like out of the way now, um, but yeah. I love you guys so much. Thank you guys so much for watching. Hope you all have a good one today. Make it a good one. I'll catch y'all later. Peace.